When Apple first released iOS 7, it left a lot of users in a state of confusion. There were many people who wanted to stick with iOS 6, a reliable release, and everything that they hold dear in terms of a jailbreak, while there were some other people, myself included, who wanted to ditch all of that and see what iOS 7 brought. Now, you can probably see that there is an interesting problem being brought about here. What if people want to update to iOS 7 and still be able to jailbreak their device? Well, I kind of addressed this in a previous video with regards to the Evasion Tether Jailbreak tool, but just this morning, a few hours ago, the highly skilled team that we all know as the Evaders uh, surprised us all with a jailbreak tool that provides not just for a jailbreak, but for an untethered jailbreak for all iOS 7 devices. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Evasion 7 to jailbreak your iOS 7 device. Now the first step all of this is to obviously go ahead and download the tool that you need to perform this. So all you need to do on a Mac is to simply open up a web browser, uh, head over to evasion.com and download the release for OS X. As you can see there are releases for both Windows and OS X. And if you can't tell from the picture, uh, the Evasion 7 tool will provide an untethered jailbreak for every device that can run iOS 7. So this is everything from a device as old as the iPhone 4 all the way up to the iPhone 5S and the iPhone 5C. Now before we go any further I would highly recommend as do the evaders that you plug in your device into your computer head over to iTunes and start backing them up because as with any other jailbreak release, anything can go wrong during the process and you don't want to be left there with no backup and with a brick device. So go ahead and back up all your stuff using iTunes. Now the next step, as with the previous Evasion release, is to go into your iOS devices uh, settings app, head over to general, and for those of you that have got a passcode enabled, you need to go ahead and disable that. Now, uh, the last thing you need to do before we can get started is to go ahead and quit iTunes as you obviously cannot have that open during the process. Alright, so now that we've got all that out of the way, we can go ahead and open up the Evasion tool. So if you're on a Mac, go ahead and double click on the DMG to extract it and open it and open up the folder and within there you'll find the Evasion app. So just double click on that to open it. Uh, if you're like me and you're on Mavericks or Mountain Lion, you're going to need to control click or right click uh, to open it as it is downloaded from an unauthorized source. Now the Evasion Jailbreak, in my experience, has always been about simplicity in the sense that with previous jailbreaks such as Red Snow, there was a lot of user involvement in the sense that you had to put your device into DFU mode. But with Evasion, for the most part, all you have to do on the computer is just to click on the jailbreak button and just have a look at the instructions as they come by. So as you can see, most of the stuff is fairly autonomous. At one point it will ask you, after it reboots your device, to go ahead and unlock that and run the Evasion 7 app that it actually installs onto your device. From there it'll reboot again and the Evasion app will instruct you to go ahead and unlock your device after which it will reboot again and it should say that the process is done. Um, after that you can close the Evasion app and you'll see on your device that it's actually uh, reading the kernel and doing all sorts of things. Once that's done you can go ahead and unlock your device and you should see the Cydia icon there. Now from past experience whenever I've run it then and there it seems to have messed up so what I'm going to do is to just go ahead and power down the device to completely and turn it on again. Now uh, in this day and age, I'm pretty sure that isn't an issue anymore, but I like to stay on the safe side of things, so I'm just going to go ahead and reboot my device. Now once that's done, you can go ahead and tap on the Cydia app, after which it will do some stuff with the file system and it will reboot your device again. Now remember that this being an untethered jailbreak, you do not need to have your device plugged into your computer or run any kind of program on your computer in order to reboot your device, which is definitely one of the best things about an untethered release. Now once your device has rebooted, you can go ahead and open up the Cydia app and everything should function as expected. You'll get the initial dialogue asking whether you're a user, a hacker or a developer. Once you go through that, you can just get to the main screen of Cydia and it'll start downloading packages. So that is essentially it. That is how to use Evasion 7 to jailbreak your iOS 7 device. 
Now, in the past few hours, you could say that this jailbreak release has become quite controversial, but a lot of what has been speculated or what has been rumored uh, hasn't been confirmed by any really reputable sources. So what you should take away from all this news is that Sorik, the lead man behind Cydia, has not actually worked or released a stable iOS 7 version of Cydia just yet, and that his uh, famous work on Mobile Substrate, which is the backbone of many iOS uh, and jailbreak tweaks, has not actually been completed yet for iOS 7. Uh, but that shouldn't deter you from performing this, um, as all of these problems can be alleviated uh, with patches and updates in the coming days. So I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please click the like button and share it with your friends who would be interested in doing this. And I guess that's it for this video. I'll see you all in the next one.